Hey everyone, this is NHL Hawk News Report, so back in the video, and today we have some NHL news of today. Uh, some news out there, a little bit of news, not too much stuff, but there is some stuff to talk about uh, for the NHL. Obviously, the NHL All-Star is coming up, we got the trade deadline in a couple of weeks, uh, I mean like three or four weeks, I forget what actually day it is, I should know that, but um, I'll definitely check out, see what day that is again. Um, definitely that's something coming up. Some waiver news, some injuries, uh, stuff like that. And yeah, let's get into what we have here. We start off with the Montreal Canadiens. I feel like I talk about them all the time in the news here. We have another injury update. Obviously, my last NHL news. Galco is out two weeks. Now they updated it. It will be six weeks. He'll be out. Um, that's unfortunate again after, you know, last year being injured. This year, this is twice being injured now after starting the season and saying he was healthy, things lingering injury here for him. I think it's lower body for him. So he's out six weeks. So this gives the Canadians a chance to recall uh, Jesse Leonin from the uh, Rocket. He has a good shot. Um, if, you put, if you put him on a left circle with that shot, if you put him on the second power play or the first power play, you try him out anywhere. Give him a chance to play. Um, he has a good one time or so. Maybe try it out, give him a chance. The team hasn't done the best. Anything, I'm sure it'd be great for him, and he's gonna try his best for sure. He's Leon and also, also uh, Anthony Richard has been put uh, back to the minors to the Laval Rocket after scoring his goal and then getting very little ice time the last couple of games. So he is back in Laval, and Leon has been called up from Laval. So there you go. That is, that is the Canadians' uh, news update for today. Uh, for the Carolina Hurricanes, we have Freddie Anderson has been activated off the IR. Um, he's back. They have three goaltenders now, which is something you don't want to have. That's a problem at times to see how it works out for them. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing at this point. I'm sure they're going to have to do something very soon uh, with one of them. Obviously, Pekka Kuchekov, they signed him to extension for the next couple years. So, he's not going anywhere. Freddie Anderson, he's a UFA at this season. They could keep him. They might not. But I would say they would keep him. Uh, Ronta looks like the expendable guy here, even though he's played pretty well. They may trade him. Um, also, you would have favored that in here. So, those two guys, Freddie Anderson and uh, Ronta is. But uh, Kochekov, after this year, he has extension. So, obviously, he's not going anywhere uh, for now. Moving on to some waiver claim news. Um, obviously, two guys were put on waivers, and both of them were claimed. No big deal for these guys. Uh, Jake Lecision from the Gold Knights. He hasn't had too many points this year. Um, but I do understand this pickup for the Rangers. The Rangers, they have some bottom six guys there that have been producing the best. Maybe a guy like Lecision can come in, get some points, and try to, you know, get some goals on that uh Fourth line ish, right? Um, would be good, you know. Guy like Sammy Blay, who's been awful this season after taking a whole year for his knee uh, injury he had. But before his knee injury with the Rangers, those couple games, he was really good, but never got back to that. So maybe a guy decision can kind of take that spot and maybe have a chance to do something there. Um, if it's possible, we'll see. But Jake Lecision is an interesting pickup there. And then Casey Fitzgerald from Buffalo. He's just a seventh defenseman. Uh, you see the Panthers trying to add a little depth on the blue line. You see that from them. Interesting move by um, the Panthers knowing they are weak on defense this year than last year. Um, as we all know, the whole Regal trade and all that stuff, which made them weak on defense. Um this coming year. So there you go. That is the news we have. And then all-star coaches we do have. They do have the rosters out. But the all-star coaches with Atlantic is going to be Jim Montgomery for Boston. Fantastic season for Boston. Right, rightfully deserved for his first year with the Boston Bruins coaching them. Uh, Rod Brentamore will be for the uh, Metropolitan team under the Carolina Hurricanes. He will, he's had an excellent season with the Hurricanes. For the Central of for Dallas, he'll have Pete DeBoer. He's going to have a chance to coach the Central Division and Pacific Division. You're going to have Bruce Caskey from the Vegas Gold Knights. Very interesting <coughs> about this is 
Three out of the four have, um, this is the first year coaching a new team. Jim Montgomery, first year in Boston. Uh, Pete DeBoer, first year in Dallas. And first year for Vegas is uh, Bruce Cassidy. The only team, uh, coach has been around a little bit is um, Brian Brendamore. So there you go. Very interesting, isn't it? So we'll get into uh, very soon, just to let you know, um, for videos coming up very soon. Uh, trade deadline, we're definitely coming up. So video speculation, who's going to whale, who's on the board, who's going to be traded, who's on the trade block. Uh, we'll see what happens about that. Who's getting moved, uh, like who's Minko, guys like that. Um, definitely been talked about already. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Also, um, my series with the Connor Boudard series, uh, 15 teams-ish that I'll be talking about the impact that I have. I did the Canucks, I did the Canadians, Coyotes. Next is going to be, um, I believe, the Ducks or the Blackhawks, something like that. I'm going to do next um, about the impact they would have and how the young guys, along with the veteran core, could um, interact with Bedard to make this either a speedy rebuild and change things quickly or whatever the case may be. So watch out for uh, those videos coming out for that series. And yeah, that's what we have coming up. And any news of the day, uh, NHL news will be posted too. We'll see what happens. Definitely trade videos will be coming soon. Obviously, couldn't do much trades up to this time. Only a couple of minor trades because teams simply don't have cap space. So teams are frustrated with that. Teams that haven't done so well, they want to make a trade, but they simply can't make a trade. Because they have no cap and they can't do anything. Which is unfortunate for them for sure. So we'll see what happens. Definitely trade deadline will be interesting. And I'll definitely be there to post for it. So I'll see you next video.